Mount St. Mary's is one of the NEC's hottest teams. Winners of nine of its last 10, the Mount will try and continue its January sizzle against Wagner. Whether dominating on the inside or lighting it up from the perimeter, the varied Seahawk offense can overwhelm any opponent. It's a terrific Northeast Conference matchup, and it's coming up next. Kaju with two on the shot clock. Down the floor. There's Gene Kaju with that defense taking it from Tyler Murray. And the jam for Sean Atupem. He can make you a little tentative offensively. Jamal Smith, the Seahawks' leading scorer with three on the shot clock, drops it in. In the game. That's good, the point guard. That is good from three. Elwell, backdoor pass to Spiller. It goes. Would have counted anyway on a goaltend. Uh, Wagner playing pretty spirited basketball. Sam Matupam hits for Mount St. Mary. Not sure, Dave, whether he looked away. The dunk and the foul for Clayfell Harris, the sophomore from London, England. Not in the college ranks, then. Well, I have some war stories from there as well. A lot of fun. Not Jamal Smith hits from the baseline. They find the shooter, Will Holland. That's three. Wide open along the baseline. Largest lead for the mount. That is three as well for Chris Martin. Good answer. Great answer for a freshman. And Gene Kaju beating everyone up the floor. Mount St. Mitchell with the outlet to Bidler. Three on two. Good, not shy, and there's a reason for that. And he has 12. Mundweiler, no, tipped in though by Clifton Spiller. The back door to Beidler, who hits. Half court, nagging man-to-man -man D. Mundweiler for three, he got it. Great ball movement by the big man, and one. Kelly Beidler, the recipient this time. Won NEC tournament titles and subsequently went to the big dance in 95 and 99. Chris Martin hits for Wagner, an old favorite of ours. Sean Atukum hits inside. You know, you're looking for that fourth place spot with LIU losing a win by either one of those teams. And again, inside is Sean Atukum. Get a foul here. Just giving it away. Kelly uh, Bidler lays it in. Bidler right down the lane. 65 to 51. Trice will dribble out the clock. A near sellout at Knott Arena today as they honor the 1962 College Division National Championship team here at Mount St. Mary's, and they do it on a winning note. Noah is standing by with our player of the game, Jeremy Good. Jeremy Good scored 17 points tonight, but first we'll start off with head coach Milan Brown. Milan, you love to stress defense, and on a day when you shot about 36% from the field, your defense and your rebounding was huge. Yeah, the guys did a good job. We wanted to try to keep them in front as much as possible, make them take a test of shots, and that's one of the reasons why we preach defense is that sometimes when your offense doesn't show up, but you should always pack your D. That, that all, as long as you pack that, you're going to be in every game, and we got a couple breakaways on some turnovers, which allowed us to spread the lead out. It wasn't so much of a pretty game, but we, we were glad we brought our defense today. Yeah, I thought you did a great job in holding them to one and done. They take an outside shot, and you guys would clean the glass and work it back. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about that. It's just trying to limit people. We think we do a pretty decent job, and we need to get a little bit better defensively, but we want to limit people to one shot because it doesn't do us any good to defend for 30 seconds and then give them another 30 to defend. So we did a good job. I'll definitely go in and pat my um, I'll post a wing on the back for rebound. <laughs> 20 years you guys have been in Division One. This eight-game winning streak is the second longest D1 winning streak in Mount St. Mary's history. It's pretty good. I'll take it. We'll see if we can keep it going. And, you know, as it is in every league, you just never know. You have to show up every night. And if you don't, you're going to get beat. And so far, we've shown up. So hopefully, we'll continue doing that through the month of February. Coach Milan Brown, thank you. Best I of luck the rest of the way. And we talked to Jeremy Good, who had 17. But you know, getting a little pat there from the coach. Holding Jury Munweiler to just a couple of buckets was a big deal here today. Yeah, it was good, big for us because we knew that he was one of the premier scorers. And anytime you can hold one, a shooter like that, you know, to a minimum amount of points, you know, way below his average, you know, it's good for us. 
And I also see you guys play a lot with a lot of confidence. They had whittled away a double-digit lead down to nine there in the second half, but you guys never seem to crack. Oh, no, nah, we, you know, we understand that we're going to get teams the best shot every, night in and night out every time we step out, that everybody's going to try to play hard against us. You know, you know, they're a good team. You know, you know, unfortunately, they lost a couple, but at the same time, they fight. They never stop fighting. And, you know, they, they made the game a little more interesting. We tried to end the game a little early and slow down, and, which allowed them to come back, you know. But, you know, get a lot of credit to them. They're a good team. You know, we beat a good team tonight. And, you know, we just got to say our defense, you know, did what it was supposed to do when it was supposed to do. Now, you guys play four of your next five on the road. You go into that streak or stretch with an eight-game winning streak. What do you have to do to keep it going? Well, I mean, we got to do the same thing, you know, share the ball. You know, we had, we had a couple lows in the first half where we didn't share the ball as much as we should have. You know, we try to play how we practice. You know, most of the time practice, the way you practice is how you're going to play in the games. And, and I know we got to, you know, a couple game stretch where we about to be on the road for a while, but we understand what we, you know, what we got to do. As long as we stick to our defense, we should come out pretty successful. And free throw shooting, not a bad idea either. 20 of 25 today. Anytime we can shoot free throws like that, nine times out of 10, it's going to work out for us. That is Jeremy Good, 17 points today. He's our star of the game. Jeremy, congratulations. Best of luck. Dave, back to you. Before this game, Paul Dottino sat down with the dynamic backcourt duo of Mount St. Mary's. Well, thanks very much, Dave, here with John Kaju and Jeremy Good, the backcourt for Mount St. Mary's. And, Jeremy, I've got to start with you because I think, really, you are the quickest guard in the NEC, and you run up and down the baseline. Do you take that responsibility on your shoulders to set the tempo for this team day in and day out? Is it really something that you've got to do? Well, I mean, it's always, you know, my responsibility to, you know, dictate the tempo whenever we play. You know, Coach, you know, he wants me to try to, you know, go full speed as, as many times as possible. So whenever I get the ball in transition or, you know, if it's half court, wherever, I'm just trying to go as fast as I can, but at the same time be under control. Under control. Now this year, you've got somebody playing beside you in John Kaju, who last year was coming off the bench. Now, which one of you two is quicker? I'll let him answer it. I, I won't <laughs> say, you know, I won't say, but I mean, I mean, we're both quick, you know, we do, we, we, you know, we bring different aspects to the game, you know, as, you know, two different players, but at the same time, when we playing together, it works out. All right, John, why don't you answer that one for me? He's definitely faster than me. I am, I'm not going to lie about it. My teammate, though, he's definitely probably one of the fastest people I've ever played against or played with. So that's good to have. Now, we talk all the time about how Milan Brown stresses defense, and I was talking to you before we did this interview about how I believe it all starts with you guys in the backcourt. Can you talk about your defensive mentality when you go into a game? I think us as guards in the backcourt, we got to set the tempo or uh, dictate what goes on in the game. So if we put a lot of pressure on the other opponent's guards, it's going to hurt them getting the ball into the post, starting the offense and stuff like that. So we definitely try to try to do that. How hard is it to have other guys buy into that? Because most people think everybody wants the ball and wants to score. But here, I think Milan Brown has basically told you guys, hey, defense is what we need to win. Well, I mean, you know, defense is what Coach, he's a, he's a guard himself, so he understands that, you know, it's going to start on the defensive end. If you want to win championships, you got to play defense. you got to stop the other, you know, the other team more times than they can stop you. So, I mean, you know, People want to score, of course, but at the same time, we understand that if we want to put another banner in, in the school, we got to play defense. And speaking of a banner, you guys are a couple of games uh, behind Robert Morris still. Uh, you will be playing them the uh, last game of the regular season. John, I, I think I should probably ask you, uh, when you look at the standings, do you much consider the fact that you'd like to catch them for that top seed, or is that something you can't think about? Um, I don't think we're trying to think about that right now. We're trying to take it one game at a time. like. The next team in front of us try to make sure we take care of them, take care of home and on the road. And then when they come up on the schedule, we try to try to go after them. You know, speaking about taking things one thing at a time, when you first came here, you were kind of a walk on. And now now you're one of the big stars on the team. How, how hard has that transition been for you to develop from what you first came here for and, and now being a big gun? It was hard at first because, I mean, I had to sit down on the bench and watch everyone play, knowing that I, I could help and I could be out there helping my teammates and stuff. But, I mean, it was also good for me. It was a learning experience. I got to uh, work on my game a lot, and I got to see things that I probably wouldn't be able to see if I was on the court. So I think it helped me a lot as a player. John Kaju and Jeremy Good, a sensational backcourt here at Mount St. Mary's, and just maybe, just maybe, another NEC championship on the horizon. Back to you, Dave. See scholar athlete is Wagner football star Adam Farnsworth. An international affairs major who maintains a 3.79 grade point average. Congratulations.